YouTube is a powerful business tool for generating new leads and getting new customers. But if you try to hack YouTube using outdated SEO techniques, or if you focus more on becoming a wild and crazy YouTube celebrity, you're not going to have success on the platform. So if you're a business owner or a marketer and you want to use YouTube to grow your business, then watch this video in full because I'm going to share with you five tips that you have to follow if you want to have success with YouTube video marketing. Stay tuned. It's Owen Video. Hi, I'm Owen, founder of The Video Marketing School, where business owners like you generate better leads and close bigger sales with online video marketing. Scott is a financial planner. Dr. Sten is a chiropractor. Roger is a plumber. And Tori is a marketer. And they are all just a few examples of successful business owners that actually generate clients with marketing videos on YouTube. And it was no accident. See, they followed a proven process. And today, I'm going to share with you five big factors in their success. Plus, at the end, I'm going to reveal the biggest mistake that new businesses make on YouTube. So be sure to stick around for the whole thing. Okay, let's get started. Tip number one in being successful on YouTube is create your channel art first. You know, there's always such a rush to get videos uploaded so you can sell your services and count all that YouTube cash. But if you don't make your channel presentable, then your viewers will leave pretty quickly after finding you. Think of it like having company over for dinner. And when they get to your house, they see dirty laundry all over the floor and the place is a mess. I mean, what kind of impression have you created? In reality, most of us would straighten up the house and, and make the living room look presentable. We'd probably dust a little bit, maybe vacuum so that our guests feel at home. The same is true with your YouTube channel. When your new viewers come and see your channel and they notice that you have no artwork up, you have no information about yourself and no context to add to the video they're watching, well, they're probably gonna leave without subscribing and they're definitely not gonna watch any additional videos while they're there. Take a look at this YouTube homepage from certified financial planner, Scott Weiss, and take a look at his channel banner, which has a nice picture of him a very clean background and a very clear value statement that lets the viewer know what he does and the value it provides to them. Also notice in the lower right hand side that he's got some links to his social media site so that you can follow him further. As we scroll down the page, we can see that Scott has an about us page, same as you have. And he's taken the time to fill it out to give the viewer a little bit more context and information on who he is. Similarly, he's uploaded a ton of videos at this point. And so he's got a great looking thumbnail template, which matches the channel banner. He's got some different colors here to signify between different playlists. You'll be able to add all that stuff in time, but let's get started with just the basics and add your channel banner take the time to fill out the about us page and you might even want to scroll down to the right hand side of the page where you can customize the featured and related channels doing all of these things will make your living room a little more presentable for your guests so that when they do find you they'll be encouraged to stay a little bit longer great job scott step number two is make keyword based videos. And here's where I've seen so many business owners struggle is that you make videos about your products and your services and your company history and other topics that might be useful at a trade show or in a sales pitch. But on YouTube, you need to be focused on making videos that answer questions or solve problems. How do you find out what your customers are actually searching for? We use a tool called TubeBuddy that integrates directly into your YouTube channel. And inside the TubeBuddy tool is a keyword explorer where you can search for different questions or phrases to discover the most popular questions your customers are asking. For example, if you're a real estate agent, you might think that a great keyword to start making videos with would be how to buy a house. So we type that word into the TubeBuddy keyword tool to reveal that it's a pretty poor keyword. Now, when we come down here and we look at the search volume, we see that the search volume is through the roof. And also using the keyword tool, we can see that there's a lot of what we call modifiers or an additional phrase that we might add to the end of a keyword phrase or even sometimes to the beginning of the keyword phrase to make the video title a little bit more specific and therefore a little bit more valuable. In this case, we might want to add a modifier to the end of how to buy a house 
to make it a more popular video. And so we'll come in here and we'll go, let's just say how to buy a house with low income, okay? And I'll click explore. And you can see that just by adding that simple modifier, my poor keyword went to very good. And so immediately I have found a great keyword to start making videos with. Let's move to another example. Let's say that you're a financial planner. You might think a good keyword is what is a fiduciary? And in this case, you'll see the TubeBuddy tool is already recommending modifiers for me. But before we select them, I'm just gonna click explore to see what we get. Okay, and we get a, we get a fair keyword. And I, if I come down here, I can see that the search volume is fair. It's, it's not bad, but we've got some other factors here that aren't important right now, but just make it a fair keyword. So I wanna try to get this into the yellow or to the green. So what I can do here is I can add like a little dash and I can say something like, what is a fiduciary? How to set up a trust and click explore. And when I do that, you see I've moved that fair keyword into a good keyword and I possibly have another video that I could be targeting here. So use the keyword explorer tool inside this TubeBuddy tool and try to target videos that are in the yellow and the green area. Now I've got a full training on how to use this keyword tool in more detail and I'll provide you with a link to that video at the end of this video, so stick around. Tip number three is a big one, upload consistently. See, the YouTube algorithm responds to channels that upload video on a regular basis. That means the same day and the same time each week. So it's important to create a workflow that enables you to pop out videos on a fairly regular basis. At first, this will be hard, but you'll get the hang of it. Now, consistent also means that each new video needs to look and feel the same. To make each new video its own special, unique video, you won't be able to create a rhythm and eventually you'll burn out. Instead, you wanna take a formulaic approach that works like an assembly line to pop out videos that look and feel the same each and every time. Here's a great strategy. Take a look at your monthly calendar and find a two hour time slot during each week where you can focus on YouTube. Let's say it's Wednesday. So block out two hours on Wednesday and follow this formula. Week one, do your keyword research and write your video outline. Week two, film the video and collect B-roll or screen shares. Week three, edit the video and create the thumbnail. Week four, upload the video and review the analytics from the last video. It's important to understand in this model, you'd be creating four videos at a time so that you could release one video each week. One of my clients, Dr. Sten Ekberg at Wellness for Life has mastered this system. With over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, they've set up a video creation station at the office that stays out of the way of their patients, but enables them to sit down, shoot video and upload according to a schedule and the phones at their clinic are ringing off the hook. Step four, hear what matters. In other words, avoid focusing on metrics that don't really matter for you. See, it can be easy to get lost in the world of YouTube and start thinking that getting a ton of subscribers and going viral is important for your business to have success. That is not true at all. And you know, in a lot of cases, it can actually lead to massive failure and even depression. Don't let this happen to you. Instead of focusing your time and energy on getting a ton of views or going viral, focus instead on two very important metrics that will lead to more views. Those metrics are your video watch time and your video retention. Now, your video retention refers to the length of time the average viewer watches your video before Xing out or clicking on another video. Your watch time refers to the total amount of minutes your video was watched. So if you make a five minute video and your average retention is 50%, that's two and a half minutes of total watch time. If now you make a 10 minute video and your average retention is 40%, that's four minutes of watch time. Now, since four is greater than 2.5, it's more likely that YouTube will show your longer video to more people because those people watch that video for a longer amount of time, which keeps them on YouTube longer. Therefore, focus on making videos that get watch time of 50% or more. As you're able to do this consistently, slowly start to increase the length of your videos to make them longer. If you succeed at this one thing, you'll do extremely well. All right, how are you holding up? I know this is a ton of information and I truly hope you're hearing me on this. In fact, if this video has been helpful to you so far, let me hear from you in the comment section. It's always good to get your feedback. Let's bring it home with tip number five, the three-in-one strategy. 
Many business owners and marketers make the mistake of creating videos that will either always ask for the sale or never ask for the sale. The truth is, YouTube wants to keep viewers on YouTube and they don't really want viewers leaving YouTube to visit your website, even if your product or service is spectacular. Why? Because YouTube makes their money by showing advertisements. And when a viewer leaves YouTube to buy your product from your website, that viewer is no longer on YouTube to see their advertisements. Make sense? In other words, you've got to create a good mix of content videos and sales videos. That way you can leverage the algorithm to keep your viewers on YouTube. But then when the moment is right, you can invite that viewer to click a link and buy from you. We recommend the three in one video content strategy and here's how it works. For every four videos you make, three videos will be content videos and only one video will be a sales video. This is perfect for engaging viewers on a weekly basis for three weeks out of the month. And then on the fourth week, you release a sales video designed to move the viewer off of YouTube and onto your website where you can do business. Plus, this strategy also conditions your viewers to buy from you. So instead of being the king of free content, you'll be in a place where you are educating your future buyers every single month and then leading them into a sale. This is closely modeled by Gary Vee's jab, 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 right hook model. You may have heard of it. All right, that just about wraps up our five points for today. But before I go, I promised that I would share with you the number one biggest mistake that new YouTube marketers make, and here it is. Are you gathered up? Because this is important. Do not, I repeat, do not go live on Facebook and then re-upload that video onto YouTube. That's called repurposing. It's when you take a video that was made for something else and you upload it on YouTube to try to game the system. Viewers will not like this and neither will YouTube. If you wanna be successful on YouTube, create videos that were made for YouTube. Do it the right way and it will pay off. Now, your next step is to watch this video right here. Because in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use the TubeBuddy keyword tool to create a video content strategy that will target your customers and drive a ton of qualified traffic to your next video. This video will make everything super clear so you'll know exactly what videos you need to be creating next. Click on the video now and I'll see you there.